Is this the best starter lens for the Nikon mirrorless system? Watch the video. Hey YouTube, what is up? I, Super Cleary, am finally getting back to you talking about the Nikon 50 1.8 S lens for the Nikon mirrorless system. Um, shooting from the studio today. Apologies, we're still kind of moving in. There's many things going on. Um, so let's talk about this lens. It is awesome. You know, this is a 51.8, which is, you know, your standard walk around lens. What is it called? Your normal lens, whatever. On a full frame camera, this is definitely a must have. And I would go so far as to say, if I was buying into the Nikon mirrorless system, this would be the first lens I would get. Instead of buying the bundle that has the 24-70 f4, which I did a review on a couple weeks ago, I would rather buy it body only and then use that money left over to invest towards buying this 51.8. This is a lens that you're going to buy once and keep forever, and it's going to be a lens that is just you're going to be able to grow with. If you're more of like the beginner type and you don't know what what lens do I get to start out with? I don't really know that much about photography. I would 100% tell you to get a prime lens like this one because it is gonna teach you so much about how the camera works. It's gonna teach you technique and understanding the way cameras work, the way to get that perfect exposure and all about the exposure triangle. Um, and that's gonna happen with a prime lens like this a lot faster than a 24 to 70 f4 where you're zooming with the lens you're also then really really limited by that f4 capability um, whereas you go to the prime lens you're learning why it is so valuable to have a fast lens like this that goes all the way up to 1.8 and then um, you're learning a lot about composition because you're zooming with your feet you're moving around you're learning how to get your body into positions to get good shots as opposed to just zooming a little one way or the other to try to figure it out. Um, and I think those are huge for all beginner photographers. Um, talking about this lens very, very, very specifically, um, I think it works great. It's a really nice lens to work with. It handles really well. Like we throw it on the, we throw it on the Z6. It looks great. Let's get this guy on here. All right, okay, we're on there. It's really nice in the hand. It's very comfortable to shoot with. You're able to kind of get a grip on it, get a good shot. Um, if you're for some reason manual focusing, it has a huge manual focus ring on it. Um, but more importantly, just handling, you're very easily able to kind of get the whole package on there, take some pictures, love every second. Um, the one oddity about this lens for me, just in terms of build, is it's, you know, when I had my first Nikon DSLR, the first lens I got for that was the Nikon 51.8. And back then that cost like 200 bucks maybe. And it was also about half the size of this. I have no explanation why there's a size difference between this 51.8 and the old 51.8. I would put them next to each other, but I sold it and I don't have it anymore. Um, this is bigger. Again, it doesn't really matter all that much because if you've already committed to walking around with the big camera, your, the lens doesn't really make that much of a difference. Price, you know, I think it's priced right around 600 bucks used. You can probably save another 100 bucks on it or so. Um, yeah, it's certainly more expensive than the old 51.8 for the DSLR system. You know, they, the proponents of this lens and Nikon say it's got like, you know, the Jesus lens on it and the perfect technology and all of those things. Whether that's true or not, I don't really know. It feels really good, it handles really good, and around 500 bucks, 600 bucks, whatever, for a lens that you're gonna buy once and never replace, sounds good to me. Uh, let's throw some pictures up on the screen. So I shot with this for about a week, all in a professional setting, all photos that need to be delivered to clients, shot with it. It felt really good. Um, I love shooting with prime lenses. I love what the 1.8 can do for you. I shot at 1.8 the entire time. Um, when I looked at them on the screen, they looked super crisp. Everything, you know, they don't stand out when I'm editing through because as I'm shooting, I'm switching lenses based on what the need is. So I found plenty of stuff that worked. It looked really good. It focused fast. Can't complain. I also love that when you put one of these native lenses on 
the Z6, it's just silently focusing. It just, it works so quick and so zippy. Uh, that's really, really nice. Um, other thoughts that I have on this lens? No, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Look at the pictures, tell me what you think. These are just clean, crisp seminar photos. They look nice. I have absolutely no complaints and exactly what I would expect from a brand new lens. To kind of wrap this thing up, if I was starting out with the mirrorless system and I needed a first lens, this 518 is 100% the lens I would start off with before I did anything else. And even if I was kind of an expert and I was just starting off with this system, you're gonna be able to do a lot of cool stuff with a 518. And that's also on the video side too. Like it's a really nice lens to shoot with. Um, and all the stabilization that's in this camera body makes the video also look very, very nice. Um, yeah, so that wraps it up. Cool. Check out this lens. Buy it. It's great. If you're going to buy it, click one of those links below because that would be really sweet of you. I'm going to have Nikon send me another lens. Going to take a look at something else from the Z series, see how that works out. And yeah, that's all I got.